when I was 16, back in mid 80s in Mexico, we had a lot of Native American witches. I had friends who had a relative who was into witchcraft. One afternoon, I invited my friends over to hang out and do some witchcraft. The day before, I asked my friend to bring his relative's book. He stole one witchcraft book and a Ouija board. Three of my friends, including the one that has the witchcraft items, came into my house. We all sat on the floor. My parents were at work, so I had to house to myself for hours. My friends told me we can make any wish we want if only we talk to the spirits through the Ouija board and the book. We can possibly have fame, money, or become more handsome. I only wish for more attention from everyone, since I felt lonely at the time. My other friends made their own wishes that I cannot remember. Probably just want a nicer car when they get older. Or just have a nice girlfriend. We lit candles everywhere, closed the blinds, and stayed in the dark. We placed the Ouija board down and placed our hands on the planchette. Soon the middle piece started moving on its own. We started to laugh. No one believed it and thought it was a mechanical object to scare us. I wasn't paying attention on what the layers were trying to say because I was more focused on being with my friends laughing. After a few more times, my vision became a blur. I guess I fell asleep with my chin down while sitting up. I soon woke up on the floor. Below my face was the witch's open book and my vomit. My friends were gone. I guess they had to go home. I looked out the window and it was dark. I checked the clock and it was about 9 p.m. My parents were going to be home soon, so I quickly hit the Ouija board and cleaned the mess and head to bed. I had a weird dream. I know I did. I don't remember exactly what it was. Something with a dark figure staring at me. So I woke up sweating. I took some deep breaths and suddenly I heard movement behind me. You know some people have these large wooden pieces behind their bed to make it look like a nice decoration? Well, I felt something tapping on it. So I slowly turned my head and noticed nothing but blackness. It was strange because my bed's headboard was white so if there was only a little bit of light I was still able to see it. So I slowly looked up and I saw a monstrous man standing behind me. Froze. My mouth gave open wide. It was looking into my eyes. It had large horns and its head. It went downward like a goat. This thing wasn't solid. It was as if a shadow came out of a wall and it was 3D and alive. I saw red light behind them as if red light was luminous like a candle. No, not a candle more like fire. I was so scared. I could not move. I couldn't scream. I couldn't stop looking into his eyes. I finally closed my eyes. I heard him still behind me, breathing deep. Each breath vibrated my body. But suddenly, I opened my eyes and he vanished. I was so disturbed. I didn't want to sleep anymore. I didn't have any books or TV, so I just stayed awake until everyone else woke up. Do yourself a favor. If you want wishes, don't get them from maybe a book or supernatural object. It is not worth your sanity.